Have you ever wondered what makes rice rise up when we try to cook it? Simple! The hot water inside the cooker makes the rice rise up. But wait a minute, what makes the hot water rise? Let's do a magical science experiment to figure out what makes hot water rise up. Come with me. Hello friends, I am Albert Einstein and welcome to my lab where you and I will be exploring science beyond your books, around us in things that surround us. So, let's get started. Today's experiment is hot in cold water. With this experiment, we need five things. Two identical glasses, one filled with hot water, the other with cold water. Two food colors of your choice. We are using red for hot water and green for cold water. A thin plastic card. And finally, a big fat tray. Let's go! Place the two glasses next to each other. One with hot water, the other with cold. We will add red food color to the hot one and green to the cold one. Remember to add the food colors at the same time. Notice how the food color mixes quickly in the red one. Now stir the liquids properly with the help of a spoon. Grab the plastic card and place it on top of the red hot water glass. And now we turn it upside down. And wait for it. The magic of air pressure. Now we place the red glass on top and gently remove the plastic card. Uh -huh. Okay then. There we have it. Oh no, the liquids didn't mix. Ah, let me reverse this experiment. The cold one on top and hot one at the bottom. Let's go. Uh, we might spill a little bit of liquid. Now gently remove the card once again. Carefully. And voila! The liquids mix together. So, why did the liquids mix when the hot water was at the bottom? This happened because hot water always wants to stay at the top. So, it rises up. But wait a minute, why does hot water rise? Hot water rises when we heat it. When we heat it, its tiny little particles, also known as molecules, begin spreading away. And as they spread away, they take up more space. So, a volume of hot water weighs a little bit less than the same volume of cold water. Therefore, hot water is less dense than cold water. Now, you may ask, hot water and cold water are just the same thing. Then why do they have different densities? Remember friends, the same substance can have different densities at different temperatures. In fact, our liquids mixed and moved together because they had different temperatures. This up and down movement within any liquid or gas where the hot one goes up and the cool one comes down is called convection. Have you ever wondered why are smoke detectors always placed at the top? Yes, you guessed it right. It's because smoke is hot and hot air rises up. From spring, summer, autumn to winter, all these different seasons are due to convection. And thanks to convection, you and I can enjoy a steamy bowl of rice. So friends, now that you know what convection is, let's see how many examples can you gather on your own. Toodles!